Hello and welcome to the Paul Cantabene Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Head Men's Lacrosse Coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, uh, you had a couple uh, com- conference wins last week. Uh, let's start off Tuesday at Lycoming. Uh, big day for the offense, a big day for uh, JT Thielen in particular. Yeah, you know, I think we're playing better on the on the offensive end. You know, I think we kind of woke up a little bit after that uh, uh, Lynchburg game, and I think we're playing well. We moved the ball. We understood what we had to do, and I like how we played um, early. You know, we got things flowing, even though it was four three after the first quarter against Lycoming. I think we were playing well, and we just kind of moved forward. And Justin Bernetti really doing a great job helping yep. us get the ball back and forth and JT did his job he got open on some easy ones and put it away and then made some tough plays and and uh, we got the ball moving we got a little confidence but I think one of the bigger things is the play of our second midfield they've really done a great job and in that game they were excellent you know Colin Tucker and Danny Buckwalter and especially uh, Chris Hammerquest who's playing outstanding ever since he got back inserted yep. into the lineup in the last four or five games he's got 10 goals and seven to six over that seven assists in that period so he's doing a really great job yep. yeah like you said some of those guys have been kind of thrust in some different roles and have really stepped up over the course of the last several games. Yeah, and that's what we need them to do at this time of the year. You know, it's a long year. You know, guys are tired. You can't keep relying on the same people to produce every game. We need other people to step up as we get closer to conference playoffs and the NCAA tournament. We need guys to start playing, and, and I like the way we started. 4-0 in conference now, so I think we're doing some gr- great things. Yeah. Then Saturday, you were back home after about a week and a half. You played Messiah home, a team like you were came in undefeated in the conference. Had some good non-conference results, not victories, but, you know, played Gettysburg tough, played yep. F&M tough, yep. and um, you came out strong. I thought one of the strongest starts you've had all year. Yeah, I think it was a complete game for us. We really did a great job. We played very clean. We only had three turnovers in the first half and eight total for the game. And, you know, Messiah's played a lot of teams really tough. You know, went 17-18 with Franklin and Marshall and 10-9 with um, uh, Ohio Wesleyan, 12-9 with uh, Gettysburg. And so they've had some good results. But, you know, but we were able to get on them early. And I think we shot the ball extremely well getting on their goalie and putting a little bit of doubt to them. But I think the biggest thing is, you know, winning the faceoff and then being very clean in the offensive end and really producing. And I think that's helping us, especially Harrison Facher, who played so well in the yep. game to give the career high four goals and starting to really get some guys that understand how we need to play and I think we can play as clean as we did and then limit the turnovers then we're a really tough team to beat. Yeah and another guy I know stepped up on Saturday was Ethan Christensen at five assists ten points um, you know he's really distributing the ball well. Yeah you know and I said you know in the post game interview Ethan's a midfielder playing attack so he's getting used to how to set up his guy how to play attack more and understand the responsibility of being the leader down there and I think he's getting better and better and he's really a tough guard when he's starting to understand how to attack somebody and get in the great spots and that helps JT and that helps uh, Jacob Tatum and that helps the first midfield when he's able to do the things he did and and he's a dangerous player when he gets in those situations and but we're happy with how he's playing we need him to continue to do that and but we need other people to continue to play the way they are to help Ethan be better and not carry as much of the load so it's good to see him go five and five in that game and I think he was seven and seven on the week and so that's a good week for him and he's getting better going into Lebanon Valley this week and uh, Arcadia. Yeah so on Wednesday you head up to Lebanon Valley a team that's been very methodical on offense this year had some really low scoring games and then you play Arcadia home on Saturday yeah you know they play you know Messiah 4-3 you know they um and they don't really blow you off the map offensively but they take their time and they get good shots and defensively they have one of the better keepers in the conference I think and they got a lot of the guys returning from a year ago and so you know we got to kind of do the same for them. we can win face offs apply pressure to them early and get them out of what they want to do then we're going to be successful we could fall into that and we follow and we get turn the ball over then we'll fall into what they want to do in the game and be much tougher so we got to respect what they do John Hawes does a great job and uh, we we got to be ready for them in Arcadia. Arcadia is playing very well. They scored a lot of goals lately, and we yep. have to be ready for it. All right, Coach. We'll wish you the best of luck, and um, you know we'll see you here on Saturday night. Thanks a lot. Let's can't wait. All right, for Paul Cantabene, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Paul Cantabene Show.